different. I mean, the, this documentation is not the revolution of the image. It's the revolution of uh, having a, having a meaning. I mean, having uh, something something to say. There was no chance before in Romania just to make a democratic uh, contribution for the people. Everything was decided by by the by the imperator, by the conductor. <laughs> and that was uh, that was a revolution. I mean the the starting point to become a democratic state. And the medium television, this is of course at that time the most important thing uh, to get access to modern uh, life. I mean, television is part of the of the state. In this case, in Romania, at that time, it, television is part of the repression. And once they got access to television, this was a chance to to be successful in this changing. So they succeeded because they got support by the people working at the television and working for the television. Of course it's a sign of democracy and it's a sign of self-consciousness. I mean, the first camera was behind the curtain. It was really shy. It was from the distance, filming the demonstration, the, the student revolt. I mean, all the official cameras still worked for the state, for the Ceausescu people. Yeah, and all of a sudden, they, the people had the courage, as we say, to take their cameras and do the documentation and even climb uh, dangerous points. It was really difficult to do the editing because it was a lot of shaking in the, in the camera and they, were, they didn't prepare anything. And for that reason it was very difficult. That was the most difficult thing. Uh, it was to stay in time, the real time of the revolution, and just to combine these different uh, camera images. It was a um, cooperation between somebody like me, who, is, uh, who was working for television that time, and doing, um, let's say, high-end editing, broadcast, using broadcast material, and on the other side, I had to take care of the amateur material just to get it next to the broadcast stuff. And they fought for their uh, um, real time. So that means, especially Andre, he was really up to it to be true, to have the reality in the documentation. Of course, it's didactic, didactic in a way, and it's a scientific work, so it makes it a bit uh, uh, difficult to, to watch because it's very aggressive somehow. But I've seen not so many documentations which are so, so precise. It's very precise, that's what I think. So it was really, it was a partnership, and that was important. It was hard work sometimes. We spent hours, for just for some seconds, we spent hours. And other parts were easy. So, but and nevertheless, it, altogether, it, uh, we spent four weeks at night in the edit suite because it was half price at night. <laughs> that was one of the reasons we worked at night. I graduated in 86 and I worked as an actor for him, so uh, not an, an actor, an extra in one of his fiction films. And yeah, I mean, Berlin was like a village at that time. Everybody knew everybody. <laughs> and he knew me as a specialist for 
broadcast uh, editing and that that was important for him because I organized the whole post-production in fact. The work of Farocchi is more for, uh, to be seen as a long-term project and you can still watch it. I mean this film it's now 20 years old nearly and you, I will look watch at it uh, I will look at it in 10 years even and it's it's timeless <laughs> this kind of work is timeless